Oh, howdy, YouTubers. AE7QT. So, uh, I'm just going to kind of go quickly. I'm show you that uh, today I'm just running my LDG. A little uh, tuner here. It's the AT7000 that was made for the 70 or the 7000. This is the 7100 in my CD cubby hole, or would normally look like for a uh, CD radio in a semi truck. Uh, ground straps and cables and all kinds of good stuff, but uh, tuner mounts there because that's the uh, most convenient. And then faceplate mounts to where there might have been an AM FM, if I get my finger to point the right spot, AM FM CD player, but you can see I got it zip tied. That works good. And besides, if I want to listen to AM FM radio, I can do that. So I have a uh, eight foot whip over there. Let's just take a look at it real fast. Ah, I gotta show you. At least I got it grounded. Might be a little loud. Sorry, I had my customer getting loaded. It is a little uh, dirty. But I have my ground strap. It just goes just inside of here, real short. Uh, coax. I think I might need to replace this because it's uh, kind of got some weird discoloring I didn't know about. But uh, my mount, stainless steel, stainless steel, everything, stainless steel, top to bottom, everything. Well, of course, except the uh, insulator. Um, but this was sliding on my perch, which this is also stainless steel. Uh, so I had uh, guys over at Big Rig Radio in Phoenix uh, tack welded it a couple of different places. Ground off some of the uh, extra muck. Anyways, um, so in combination with all that, we'll run back inside here real quick. It's gonna get loud, sorry. It uh, seems to make things work better with the radio. Obviously, I'm going to try 160, and it's gonna uh, try and tune. Probably hear it buzzing, popping in the background, but it's not going to. So I'm not going to bother transmitting my call sign at the end of this. So we're just going to go ahead. I, I have a whole bunch of uh, preset frequencies, as you can see here, um, in RTTY, so I can see the SDVR, which. Uh, when this line does move, that will be the SWR. Okay, so obviously 80 doesn't tune either. Now granted, that's that eight foot stainless steel whip, CB whip, more or less. With all this extra grounding, I was noticing last night it was working a lot better. Still obviously has its limitations, and uh, my next video fairly soon will be a uh, video about the uh, two foot by two foot loop that I made recently. It has multiple turns, uh, four, four loops I think. And I just got a uh, LGG uh, 4 to 1 Balan. And so that tune I will uh, identify there. So I got this little uh, Balan here. And I hooked it up to a loop that I'd made a previous video on and I was able to successfully, uh, let's see here, I need to actually do this in sideband, but I do have a Morse code. Um, here we go. So about a one to four, that's not bad with an eight foot whip on 30 meters. So, okay, let's move on before somebody actually replies. Uh, 20 meters. Here, let's go like five up so that way I can do it in voice. Make it easy, right? If it's gonna tune today, we'll see. I did last night. Awesome. Okay, so SVR two to one. All right, not that big of a deal. I'm sure that if I moved around the band a little bit, it would be different. AE7 QT tested. Just so you can hear. 
nifty speaker. Nobody there. Okay, no problem. Moving onwards and upwards. Don't hear anybody. It's pretty quiet. All right, safe to tune. And I forgot to show the rest of VR, but I should show with my voice. AE7 QT test. I'm about a 1.5. Guess it could be better. Alright. There's some weird noise in the background, but. About a 1.5. And identify. 87 QT test. That still holds true, even on sideband. Alright, 12 meters. Go up a little bit. And. Oh, perfect SFBR. Sideband. 87 QT test. That's perfect. Don't hear anything, so we're moving on. Go up. I guess I better change these frequencies so I can transmit on every one of them with my voice as well as data. Perfectly flat. Go to voice. 87 QT test. Alright. It's the AM. So here we go. 87 QT test. About a 1.5, that's the FM portion of 10, so FM. Don't hear anything. A E7 QT test. 1.5. Not bad with an 8 foot whip on that little itty bitty tuner. Uh, now the cool thing is, let's see, let's do somewhere I can do sideband AM or FM. 6 meters. Mm, 2 to 1. I should have went higher. 87 QT test. Alright. That one looks flat. Alright, let's go up here at FN. Don't hear anything. 87 QT. Anyways, uh, so 8 foot whip is usable down to 30 meters apparently. Uh, some better results than others and uh, it uh, certainly has improved. Without all that stainless steel hardware, extra grounding, and what have you, um, that was just not happening. I was I was fortunate to, well, 10 meters was no problem. 12, no problem. 15 and 17, yeah, they kind of sort of worked. I made some contacts, but it wasn't all that exciting. But right now, it doesn't matter because the bands are dead. But uh, either way, it tunes to 20, so I'm gonna have to give it a shot to see if I can make some contacts on 20. And then hopefully, one of my upcoming uh, videos here pretty soon. I will have this thing a little bit mounted a little bit better to the loop. Uh, it didn't really fit on the loop part of it without the extension and I may not always want that bottom piece. So we're gonna work that out, see what happens next and uh, show you another video later on. 7.3 for now, 87QT.